Hello everybody, we are back here in the Aspect Gaming server. Um, I am currently attending to a person that possibly had a heart attack here. It looks like he has a gash. Uh, I'm not speaking. It looks like he has a gash on his forehead here uh, from hitting the ground. It's going to be 1042, 10 at this time. Alright, uh, if you want to take that. All right, I bandage his head. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the stretcher real quick. Or no, yeah, do that. Ahead. I'm gonna try and figure out what's going on here. All right. All right. So, um, what has happened here is, I like I said, the sponsor guy that had a. At this point, he's had a heart attack. Also had a heart attack here. Um, it looks like he fell to the ground. Um, he looks elderly, so we're gonna get him taken care of here. Oh All right, yeah, let's get that next to him. Gonna get get him onto the stretcher and then put his uh, chest up a bit. All right. Alright, I'm ready. Lift on your command. One, two, three, left. Lifting. Oh god. There we go. Alright, let's get his... I'm, yeah, <clears throat> if you want to roll him, I'm gonna get his chest up All a right. bit to relieve the pressure and then... Other than that, uh, I have to check something here in a sec. Get him in here first. Oh. <coughs> God, I'm gonna run out of gas. Oh. All right, yeah, I'm gonna start some oxygen on him. Uh, to help us breathing, right. and then I need you to get him down to uh, pillbox priority one. All right. If they want him in higher trauma trauma uh, thingy, they'll need to uh, airlift him. All right. Max is going to be en route to Pillbox Hill um, with one individual with heart attack has a gash to his head um, en route priority one. Also, engine 70, medic 70, you might want to get that one ready for a cardio unit. 10-4.
Uh, hello. Um, I have a gentleman here. Um, he has a gash on his head, as well as he has had a possible heart attack here. Um, he's going to need to go into immediate surgery. Hold on. Next seven will be available and we're right back to station. Engine seven is gonna be returned to the station. Need to get a GPS system here. And we're back to Aiden. At least we got no Leos that can steal our calls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, obviously, I guys, we're Leona, doing... But I'm not feeling Leo in any way tonight, so, uh, yeah, not. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> They'll either have to deal with fire or it'll be a very quiet night. Yeah. Well, what I was saying is, obviously, we are doing fire and EMS, um... We're literally... Oh, awesome! Let's have the uh, sieve to Leo gap go up even wider. <laughs> I mean, he can't do anything else. So. Yeah. I was saying we're the only two people in this patrol right now as emergency services, so should not be too hard to get a call if the sieves want any interaction whatsoever. Also, uh, just to earlier, because you had medic and engine both in your name, you can't just put uh, Station 7 in your name and then your all apparatuses out of Station 7. Okay. <laughs> it's way easier than putting in medic 70, engine 70, ladder 70, uh, brush 70, fly 70, battalion 70, and, uh, I don't know, rescue 70. Yeah, that becomes a little... Difficult because you run out of room. <laughs> yeah, just put station seven and whatever's requested, just roll it out. I usually have station seven in the name and have medic and engine spawned in, and if I need anything else, I can just pull that out. Well, as I was on the way here, <laughs> nearly almost ran out of gas, so, like, I was throwing out sparks and everything, so, thank God I made it. Like, that would have been bad. Jesus Christ, somebody's coughing. I mean, if our civs hate us, they're gonna do shit like automated fire alarms. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, if they I don't want know. any interaction whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> yeah, automated fire alarm ain't AFA ain't fire anyways. Uh. 
I remember that one day we're at 1 a.m. My department, three neighboring departments, and uh, the uh, scene command a part of uh, another department were paged out to an automated fire alarm at 2 a.m. Yeah, my local town has done that before. They have called one of our local fire departments to help out with the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, with us, uh, it's basically <coughs> just uh, uh, in our in my kind of municipality, uh, we have four departments and. Usually, anything that goes towards side three uh, is just full rollout and sometimes even stuff from outside. So, yeah. Seeing how a uh, automated fire alarm is side three, uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, my county runs five different other counties because... Their counties are not big enough to have their own, like, dispatcher. They do have their own police and fire department, but no dispatcher. <laughs> yeah, that's with us. Our city runs dispatch for the city, our county, and two other counties. So, uh, yeah. But then again, it's quite rural. It's not like it's, you know, large cities and fire every day or something. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in Germany, we're about 90% uh, voluntary firefighters. Or even more, I believe it's 95 <coughs> by now. 95% of firefighters are volleys. So, uh, yeah. Our dispatch actually has one full-time department to work with, and all the other uh, 200 thumbs in departments I deal with is uh, volley. Yeah, that's the way with us. We have one time full fire department, and the others are volunteer. <laughs> yeah. Or part-time. <laughs> I mean, in theory, part-time departments exist in Germany as well, but I have never seen a part-time department. <laughs> Honestly, have it either, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, this is Germany a full-time job. Like... <laughs> yeah, it... It depends on where you're at. In Germany, a, a city of 100,000 or more inhabitants has to have a full-time department ready. Uh, anything else can deal with uh, part-time departments. Or not part-time volleys. So yeah. And then again, our neighboring city has around about 100k inhabitants and ha just has one fire station with a battalion or... Let me just think what's the correct uh, American equivalent. I believe it's a battalion. Ah, Jesus. Anyhow, it's just basically a command vehicle engine, ladder engine, and anything else is dealt with by volleys. <laughs> and thus awkward silence ensued. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
The Sims will probably just run around the storage ship because this is the only time they could get away with it. <laughs> Say again? I said the Sims will probably run around the storage ship because this is the only time they could get away with it. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's the perfect time. <laughs> Yeah, you know what's fun? Tonight, the entire night, there's heavy rain uh, called for by the weather guys. And I'm currently going through a one week kind of medical course. So, I came home today at around about 6 p.m. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going through the entire night with the fire department getting uh, basements empty of water. And after that, tomorrow at 6 a.m., I'm going to stand up and <laughs> go to medical training. Woo! Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> I mean, it is fun. It's just going to... Um just going to be very harsh <laughs> to pay attention tomorrow when tired as fuck. Yeah, that tends to be an issue. <laughs> but hey, I do this shit voluntarily, so I should be complaining. <laughs> Well, then again, it's semi-voluntarily. The only two things that are voluntary is beginning and ending. Anything in between is basically a duty. Oh, look, we might even get him. Leo on. We might even get two on, or three, oh Jesus! Oh my god, I was about to send the message out of Discord, and wow! I like, mean, oh come on! <laughs> wow. I mean, if you can wait another 40 minutes, you can put out another now plane. Also, I have a feeling now that we have five Leos, there might be a priority in coming. Yeah. <coughs> also, I should probably take off the gloves. Yeah, you just contaminated that guy. <laughs> you had the same gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Alright, yeah, we're getting a handful of the, the Leos on. We should be getting 15 players on. Um, I know this is kind of like the boring part of Fire and EMS, but... I think this was kind of interesting for anyone that is in the United States to learn a little bit about Germany. Um, obviously, this guy is from Germany. And I'm also learning it as well, so I thought this would be kind of interesting. Um, I, of course, live in the United States, so... You know, I, I don't know very much about Germany, you know. In the... United States, we don't really learn about any other countries. I wish we did. Well, it's kind of a little bit of an option. It depends on what you want to do, but... Uh, like, you can learn Germany, um... I don't even know what's Germany anymore. They you think started... that's enough Leos yet? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! <laughs> Are they doing the breach or what? Two, three, four. Same traffic. I count. I believe it's going to be Less like 15 plus. <laughs> breaching.
They're doing something with the briefing, so, uh... They might be doing a raid or something, so we might actually get muted. They're doing what? <laughs> Uh, 218 and 234 just called that they were going to be at Mission Row for a briefing, so uh, they might be actually doing something. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> then again, I'm not driving until they call me, so yeah. Oh, like I said, guys, this was quite interesting. You guys gotta sit here and learn about, um, you know... Germany and whatnot, you know, gotta learn what they do and whatnot. We did get that Parker, one call yeah, too, um, but I think we're gonna be wrapping things up here. Those are joining in, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy. Uh,